Hello. Um, you may be new to CryEngine and you've never used the flow graph before, but basically I'm going to show you how to create an event trigger triggering explosion. The idea is that is if you walk up towards this particular part of the scene, then you actually trigger off the explosion. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to walk up towards this hill, and as I walk up towards the hill, I will trigger off the explosion. <coughs> Reverse again. And I go back into the event trigger area. I create the explosion. So, how do you do this? Well, let's just move away from the example I've got. I'll just go over here somewhere. What we need to do, obviously, is select the explosion. So we're going to go into physics, and we'll find the explosion, and we'll drag that into the scene. And if I go into game, you'd expect the explosion to happen. It doesn't. So how do we get this explosion to work? Whenever it's on, where's it going? There it is. How do we get this explosion to work? Well, we have to add the event trigger. But before I add the event trigger, I'm just going to add something here uh, to show me where the explosion is going to occur. So if I go into Entity, and I'm just going to grab an item, any item will do. I'm just going to grab a health pack. I'll just move that here. So that's going to show me where it is I have to walk to to actually get the explosion to occur. I want to go back into the entity and I need to select the trigger now. So if I go down to triggers and I select the proximity trigger, and I'll just drag that over here. So, we'll still go into game, show you. <coughs> still, nothing happens. So, to get the explosion to work, we have to create a flow graph. So, I'm going to go into view, I'm going to open the view, and I'm going to go into flow graph. Now, if I right click on this play area, nothing's going to happen until I go file view I've now got a workable area if I right click I can now add various things into this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a start node and then I'm going to select my explosion let's just select the explosion and right click and I'm going to add the selected entity so I'm just going to join those two up just to show you what happens Now, if I start the game now, <coughs> great, we've got an explosion. However, that's not much use as soon as you start the game, the explosion is going on. So that's why the event trigger says when I move into that area, that's when my explosion is going to occur. So, how do we do this? Well, let's, let's select the event trigger and add that into our flow graph as well. So I shall just right click in here and add the selected entity. This here, I'll just left click that. I'm going to right click now and remove that. So, what we need to do is what we're going to go from start with our output. We're actually going to enable the event trigger. So that's the first thing we need to do. And with this, we then want to, if you go into the triggered area, if you enter the triggered area, we actually want it to explode. So let's enter and I want it to explode. So if we go into game, I'm probably in the area now, so let's see what happens. 
What we want to do is, when we leave the area, we want to enable the explosion to occur again. So what we do now is, as we leave the area, we want to reactivate the explosion. So let's just drag that to activate. And the thing you must do with this, if you come out with this, if you save your game, you don't actually save this. You've got to physically go into file and save or save as and you basically specify the folders where you save it. If you don't do that, you leave your game, you come back, you'll find that this has disappeared. So let's just try this one, see how it works. So I'm going to switch the game. I press F1 so I can see the person. I'm just going to walk up here. So we're doing these keys, which is actually got to get gets a bit complicated trying to find things. And we've lost it. Okay. Let's get this one. This is one I've already set up anyway. Is how you basically set up an event triggered explosion using the photograph. It's not the best of demos, but I'm new to this and this is what I've just learned. So I hope you found that of use. Thank you for watching.